So for the next pose, we're going to have Natasha change outfit quickly. And we're actually going to do the one that was on the promotional uh, piece for this, where she's on the floor with a really dramatic overall look, um, almost classic. I like to call it the Cleopatra look where she owns the room. So I'm going to set the lights for that as she changes. We're going to go with a 48 inch beauty dish. Or at least that's what Glow calls it. Also, since I haven't mentioned it yet, my general settings uh, when I shoot in my studio are usually I start out in and around uh, a 60th of a second and F4 um, on a 24 to 105 uh, Canon R lens. And I'm usually starting anywhere between 400 and 640 ISO. Um, that creates that nice ambient background light to pick up and still keeps me nice and sharp where I wanna be. Not that I'm one of those people that believes you need to be at 100 ISO and have absolutely zero noise. Cameras nowadays handle noise incredibly well. I just like that aesthetic. I'm not a high ISO shooter for the most part. So the other nice thing is to be able to have a boom that you can crank the head down on and create different lighting looks. Reason why I went with this versus the strip box is I want the light to wrap around her a little bit more. And the one by four strip box is just a little too focused to create the effect that I want for this. So bring this in as our key. Have a slightly larger lightsaber for a tiny bit of fill because we want to be able to see the ink on our leg and not lose that into 100% shadow. So again, this is more of an advanced pose that first time clients, I generally wouldn't do this with. It's something that also aside from the fact that they don't necessarily trust that they're going to look good or think that they can do this yet. You want to have those poses that want them to keep coming back. This is one of them where they look at it and they're like, wow, I want that. I want to do that. And if you do all of those amazing poses in your first session, you're doing a disservice to yourself. So you want to hold some things in the bag. So the keys here are bottom leg needs to be completely stretched out straight, locked at the knee. Going to take the top leg you're going to bend that knee and you want to make sure that you get the heel in front of your shin we've now narrowed the body line there and created this beautiful taper as it comes down by bringing that knee up and we're actually gonna have you bend it a little bit more right there you've got that beautiful line that comes down turns into the curve and then back into another triangle for us we're creating another little triangle with her support arm right there her other arm is going to come up. It's going to come over the top. We're going to have you turn about three quarters that way. Yep. Soften the wrist just a little bit. Yep. Right there. Bring your uh, forearm back a little bit so you have a little separation in your uh, bicep. Perfect. Take a test shot, see where our light is at. Michelle, can you just bring that this way a little bit and turn it so that it's coming towards her right there? Hold on. Um, take it down just a tiny bit, if you would, please. Right there. Hold that. Can you just bring the light stick in just a little bit? Right there. Perfect. 
Also, remember if your client needs a break, let them have it. <laughs> they are people still. So whenever you're ready, we'll go back up into it. Right there, hold that. Soften that wrist a little bit, pull your elbow back this way, tiny, but right there. All right, elbow lock, the support arm, lock that out a little bit. Perfect, push up, just the eyes to me. Bring this around just a tiny bit more. Just hold right where you're at, right there. Looking that way again for me, please. Perfect, you can relax for a moment. So I'll show you what we have here. So in results, it's like, I'll bring up the shadows a little bit in post, I'm underexposing specifically because I don't wanna completely have all that bright in that area, but you'll see difference as I move the light around. Originally, we had her too much feathered and it wasn't getting enough to create enough definition. So that is what that's gonna result in to work with. And I'll show you on the bigger screen. We shot a few of these earlier and we can work with that to show you.